This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 12th of February. Busy month for us. We are on the road many nights this week, including this evening. We are in reform in Pickens County over in West Alabama. We'll be there between 4 and 630. Combined see us. I'll be there doing the weather live. If you need some help with your weather radio, just come out. We got some cool stuff to give away, but bundle up. It's going to be cold out there. Check the water vapor satellite view this morning. Strong wave coming down through the Great Lakes. I'll be pulling down uh, some pretty cold air for us today. Starting off the day in the 30s for the most part, uh, Birmingham 37, Anniston 33. We expect a high only in the low 40s today with a strong north wind of 15 to 25, making it feel colder. You see the origin of the cold air up north where they're down to about 20 below zero on the Canadian border. And this is the first of three cold shots over the next seven days. We have one today, one Sunday. Another one, Tuesday night and Wednesday of next week. And, of course, the big buzz is about that last one with potential for a few snowflakes. Got some wind chill advisories up north. And uh, down here, things are relatively quiet. This is the overall rain for the next five days. This is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. And this has ramped us up to about one inch over the northern third of the state with lighter amounts down to the south. There's a whole lot to talk about here, so let's dive in. Uh, this is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid today at noon. The uh, amplification trend continues with a big ridge in the west, a trough in the east, and a cold, dry day, tight pressure gradient. A good north wind today, high should be in the low 40s, and the sky mostly sunny. Tomorrow will be not as windy. We start the day, I'd say, 18 to 22. Uh, the high will be in the middle 40s. The sky will be sunny, but again, not as windy as today. This is Saturday now. By golly, we're going to get a pretty decent warm-up here. The models keep trending warmer. And, in fact, the GFS is suggesting we could see low 60s on Saturday. So, all of a sudden, that looks like a really nice day. And this is clearly the day you want to be outside over the weekend. So, uh, Saturday will be mostly sunny. Potential for a 60-degree high. And that'll feel great because Sunday, here comes the cold again. Got a bowling ball-looking feature up there off the coast of Maine. And down below that strong cold air advection, the GFS is printing a high of 34 on Sunday for Birmingham. And that'll feel a lot different than low 60s. Here's a look at the wind chill indices early Sunday morning. Not quite as low as we have seen in other runs. Uh, it's got a wind chill index of 7 at Birmingham, 2 at Huntsville. And those numbers up north are just brutal. I'm seeing some minus 30s and even a minus 40 around Detroit. 40 below zero. Wind chill index early Sunday morning. Ouch. Let's look at the anomalies for Sunday. The core of the cold air is uh, north of us, thank goodness. The anomalies are reaching uh, 40 degrees below average for parts of Michigan, Ohio, New York, and Pennsylvania. Goodness. All right, now let the fun and games begin. Let's go to next week. This is Monday. Here comes our next wave in the southern branch of the jet stream. And this run is faster. Uh, this is push, pushing precipitation in here Monday afternoon all of a sudden. And uh, goodness, the uh, GFS here is depicting that we might actually get some action Monday morning. And if that is the case, and understand Monday morning will be cold. Now, with clouds moving in, it's not going to be as cold as earlier forecast. So the clouds will keep us in the low to mid-20s, but still it's going to be cold. Precipitation moving in, and this is suggesting this might try and come down in the form of sleet. Perhaps that looks to be the most likely precipitation type. Maybe some freezing rain to the north uh, Monday morning. Now, uh, we're not going to insert that in the forecast yet because this is kind of an outlier. And, you know, We'll just see if models continue to trend in this direction. So there is some chance... We could see some precipitation beginning Monday, maybe in the form of sleet during the day. I don't think we have any impact Monday from this if that happens. But again, if the trend continues toward a faster solution, then that could open up a real can of worms Monday morning. Um, in fact, let me just show you the... Uh, now, this is interesting. This is the GFS snow output. Valid Monday evening at 6 o'clock. And it's trying to put down three inches of snow at Coleman. And we, we reject this solution. 
for now. But it's something to watch. I'm not saying there's no chance that will happen, but I'd say the more likely scenario is that it starts out as sleet changing to rain, and as temperatures go above freezing Monday, the sleet would have no impact. Now, this is Tuesday at uh, noon. And confidence in this solution is high. It's going to be wet. Understand, uh, you know, we've been mentioning rain for days. We're still going to mention rain on Tuesday. That's a pretty deep surface low coming through here. 1,004 millibars down around York and Livingston at midday Tuesday. And there could be some thunder here, especially over the southern half of the state. This is a pretty dynamic system coming in here. And snow is likely on the top of this thing for Little Rock and Louisville. But for us, Tuesday looks like a very wet day and, again, maybe some thunder. Now, more fun. This is Tuesday night at midnight, Wednesday at 12 a.m. The surface low it deepens under 1,000 millibars over the Carolinas, and cold air is pulled in, and the rain changes to snow across north Alabama. And traditionally, in a situation like this, with a changeover on the backside of a departing system, it's not a really big accumulation situation. There could be a little bit, yes, but traditionally, it's not a big accumulation. And this is Wednesday morning at 6 o'clock. Very cold. Uh, snow, light snow or snow flurries over much of Alabama, maybe down to Mobile. Maybe a snowflake or two down there. And it's going to be very cold. You can see the freeze line. That red line is below Montgomery. And if we see several hours of light snow overnight, there could be some travel impact Wednesday morning. Is this a major winter storm for us? I depends on your definition of major. I, you know, most places no, but you know, if we get an inch or so somewhere, that could impact travel. Uh, so it's it's going to be something to watch. Might be a little dicey Wednesday morning, and then noon Wednesday it's just cold with a few lingering snow flurries. And uh, if this is right, we could stay below freezing all day. Wednesday, we'll say mid-30s for now, but it's uh, windy, cold, just very blustery. All right, uh, this is the snow projection Wednesday evening at 6 o'clock. And understand what you see there, those three-inch totals for Cullman and Fort Payne, that's kind of this thing on Monday. And again, I don't think that happens. The bigger snows from this will be from Little Rock up to Louisville and to West Virginia and Pennsylvania. But could there be some light accumulation over north and central Alabama Tuesday night and Wednesday morning? Yes. Could there be some travel impact? Yes. But understand, nobody knows right now. You, you cannot forecast impact on this thing five and six days in advance. It is just not possible. You know, we have a limited skill set in this. But just raising the flag, be aware there could be an issue out here. This is uh, a look at midday Wednesday. And goodness, that is just screaming cold. 1036 high that's over the Red River and uh, very tight gradient, very cold air and snow flurries during the day. This is Thursday. Thursday morning is going to be very cold. If we indeed have some light snow down, uh, the sky clear, the, the wind goes calm, we could see easily mid-teens uh, early Thursday morning of next week. And then we get up in the 40s by afternoon and it's dry and sunny. This is the end of the forecast. This is Saturday the 21st. And uh, the heights are up a little bit, so not as cold. The cold air retreats northward. There's a look at temperatures coming off the ensemble. You can see the cold shot coming in today, the cold shot coming in Sunday, and the cold shot coming in toward the middle part of next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. We're doing one video today because of the travel schedule. But we'll, have, we'll have forecast notes in the blog by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.